Herb Monroe, Spencer. Kyle, you had an interesting vantage point from from the past three games where you have been a lineup for all three of them. But, but what have you seen from from this week that makes you think that you guys have corrected uh, what what's went wrong in the last three games? Um, you know, I would just say we've been focusing a lot on you know getting back to where we were, and that's we don't think there's necessarily too much wrong. Um, we just need to you know focus in more, um, you know, continue to bring energy every day and continue to be good with our prep, um, you know, leading into, you know, these tournaments here. So um, that's just what we've been, you know, preaching in the locker room. How important is it for you to to be able to balance, you know, having this last game in the shot and also, you know, knowing that you guys should, should get a win before the postseason play starts, you can get some momentum back in your favor? Yeah, I mean, just being, like, you know, the last game of the season, um, you know, we're playing against a very good team. Uh, senior night, you know, there's going to be a lot of emotion, but, um, you know, we're just focused on, you know, day by day prepping for them. And then, you know, we'll focus on the tournament after that. Um, you know, we, we know we got a special group. Um, you know, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, um, but, you know, we need to work every day um, to continue to get better so we can, uh, you know, try to make a run here in the end of March. All righty, we'll go next to Brendan Gulick, Buckeyes now on SI. Hey, CJ, I asked uh, Coach Holtman this question after the last game finished up, and, and he said he hadn't had a, really a chance to talk with you guys yet. So I um, mm-hmm. wanted to ask you now, but you know, a little bit of time has passed. Obviously, there's high highs and low lows throughout the course of the season. And if you get caught on this roller coaster ride, it, it can be emotionally draining. And right now, you guys are kind of going through a, a challenging part of your schedule. You know, yeah. haven't had the results you want. G- give me an idea what morale of the team is like right now, you know, knowing that the most exciting time of the year is here, but you guys haven't put together the results the last couple of games the way you probably hoped. Oh, yeah. We just kind of want to focus on, you know, today, just getting better today. Um, obviously, we watch film, learn from it, uh, things that we need to do better, especially throughout this three-game stretch that we had. We played against really good teams that uh, that's playing really well right now, so we just got to figure out a way to finish games, you know, play harder for the whole 40 minutes. And like you said, there's high highs and there's really low lows. Uh, we just got to figure out our even kill, you know, just being balanced and getting back uh, to what we do. You know, when we win in games, I think we won seven or eight in a row, you know, just figure out what we need to do to get back to that. Um, yeah, you know, just going out there each and every day and just trying to get better. And we just don't take it today. We just figure out what we need to do today and just be where our feet are, you know, just get better. Um you know, just come out and play harder. I feel like that's, you know, what our team needs to do. Uh, me as a leader, you know, just being able to step up and things like that. So I feel like we'll be fine. I feel like we're going to learn from our mistakes. You know, we're going to move on and, you know, be ready to win this game against Illinois. All righty, we'll go next to Sean Dunnigan, WBNS. Kyle, today the Big Ten announced they were going to allow 8,000 fans in for each game for the Big Ten tournament. How much are you looking forward to, to play in front of people other than your family that are going to be at the games? Yeah, I mean, we're looking forward to it just because, you know, this whole year it's been it's been a lot different not having fans at all. Um, you know, we enjoy playing in front of our families. Um, you know, they're able to bring us, you know, a lot of energy just just themselves. But, um, you know, having more fans there will, you know, have more energy in the building, you know, more excitement, more noise. Um, it'll be back to more, you know, feeling like like a normal game. So, you know, we're excited. Are, are you taking it all – Playing in front of fans for granted with when you look back past this year? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say, you know, we, we necessarily took it for granted. Uh, you know, we were always, you know, pretty hyped up about having a, you know, a packed arena, um, whatever it may be. But, you know, once that was taken away, it was kind of like, wow, uh, you know, the impact, you know, arena full of fans can have, you know, just on the energy level um, for the team, especially, you know, home court advantage and stuff like that is, it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Thanks a lot. Uh, we will go to Mitch Stacy, Associated Press. Hey, CJ. Uh, after looking back on the, the last three games and having a chance to ruminate and watch some film and stuff, what, um, what would you say are the issues in this slide? Is it lack of energy? Uh, you, your coach talked about that. Yeah. Last game, are there different things in different games or just kind of characterize what's happened in the last three games for you guys? Uh, yeah, like you said, just the energy. I thought we just need to pick it back up and just refocus on what's important. Um, 
Yeah, I just feel like our energy just need to be picked up, paying attention to details. Uh, obviously, defensively, we need to get better, you know, making people miss and making it tougher for the other team uh, just to give ourselves more breathing room on offense and things like that, moving the ball. It's just a lot of little things that we need to, you know, pay attention to and just, you know, refocus on. And I feel like we'll be fine. I don't feel like there's any major issues but um, for us to not figure out as a team. So I feel like we'll be fine. Okay. And Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. All righty, we'll wrap it up with Kyle, uh, with Tim Hall from 97.1 The Fan. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. Just just wrapping it up with a quick one about Illinois coming up. Have When you've looked back and had the time to reflect with the week off here, has do you think it's been more of the, the strong defense that you faced against Michigan State and Iowa, or has it been a little bit more of your doing, not not operating offensively how you guys normally have through this this whole season pretty much? Um, you know, I think it could be both, uh, you know, teams are playing well. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, we're going to get, um, in the big 10, you're going to get, you know, everyone's best shot just because, you know, the big 10 is a tough conference. Um, but I think it's a little bit of both. Like I said, you know, we just need to focus back in, um, you know, continue to bring our energy and, you know, kind of get that edge back to us, uh, you know, that we had earlier on in the season. So, um, I don't think it's anything, anything too big. There's just some, some minor things, you need, you know, we need to tweak and, uh, you know, focus on getting back on track. All righty, Kyle, thank you very much for your time. Good luck this weekend. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.